Hey guys, Fintendo here, and I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve the skew. Here we go. Alright, so first step is you're going to want to scramble your skew up. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is I'm going to teach you notation. So, this whole piece here, so when holding the cube like the skew, not the cube, the pyramid like this, this, turning like that, like that, up, is right, turning it down this way, is left, turning it this way, so left, and on the very top one is up, and then the opposite of that, so down on the right one is right inverted, up on the left side is left inverted, and right on the up one, on the up face, is up inverted. You, there is a back one, but we don't need to learn, learn that for this method. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do, is you're going to look around the pyraminx, and you're going to find every single tip that has yellow on it. So this one has yellow on it, this one has yellow on it, but, and this one has yellow on it. So you rotate them all to face the, the same way. So now all the tips are facing the right way, and you can also rotate this one. So now all of the tips are solved. So they all match up, and every single side has its tips for its respective colour. Alright, so now what you're going to do is, because we know all these are right, what you do is you rotate these faces until you, so you see that's there. So you rotate this, and then you see you've got one of the centre pieces, and then just move the tip back to solve it. And then you can so see you go to this side, and you rotate it that way. Okay, there's still none. Rotate it one more time. There it is. And then you just move the tip back to make it solved. And then once again, not there. There it is. And then you can move the tip. So now you have every single center on the thing, and you go around uh, the pyramid. And you'll see that we also have all the centers on every single other thing. So now that you have all the centers, what you're going to do is you're going to get the whole the, the whole yellow side and put it on the bottom. So now holding uh, the pyramid with yellow on the bottom, we're now going to look for other yellow edge pieces. So we look around, here's one here, so it's yellow and blue. So if this was here for instance and we saw yellow and blue, what you want to do is you want to get the yellow either like not facing you so for instance for this side it's yellow and blue so we can't rotate it here because then the blue and the yellow doesn't match up with red so what we do is we rotate the up face this way to make the blue match up and also have the yellow not facing us so now here's your first algorithm you're going to learn so it goes like this right up inverted right inverted so essentially what you just did there is you're moving this up getting this edge piece, moving it across, into place, and then down. So now one of the edge pieces is correctly orientated because it matches up with blue. So now what we're going to do is we're going to find another yellow one. So there's one here, and it's green and yellow. So you're going to rotate it once again until it's that green. So now it's on the other side, so you're going to learn a different algorithm. So with the yellow not facing you, so the green sticker facing you and the, and the yellow sticker on either side, or if, if it's on the right side, this is what you do. So it goes like this. Left inverted, up, left. So now we see that's correctly orientated as well. So now just the red to go. So the red is here. Now if this happens, we can't actually orientate this correctly. So what you're going to want to do is just move it out of the way. So, so as you can see here, that doesn't match. But the red is here. So what you're going to want to do here is basically what you're going to do is you see reds here and yellows there. You need to switch them, but you can't switch them. So what you're going to do is you're going to move it out of the way. So you move this up, out of the way, and then down. So now you see we have it out of there, and now it's up here. So it's red and yellow, so what we need to do is we need to make it so yellow doesn't face us. So we move it this way to face the right. And once again, you go left inverted, up, left. So there we go. Now the, comp the yellow face is completely done. 
all the center pieces are correctly orientated, so now you move on to permutating the last layer. So now what you want to do is you want to see is you want to rematch up the centers. So blue doesn't match red, so you just turn it in its respective direction, and now it matches. So now all the centers match. But we also see that none of these pieces are correct. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold it any way you like, and you're going to go right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, right inverted. So now we've done that algorithm and they're still not correct, so you do it again. Right, up, right inverted, up, right, up, right inverted. So now we see that one of these edge pieces is correct, but these two aren't. So now this is the last algorithm I'm going to get you guys to learn, and it goes like this. Left, right inverted, left inverted, right, up inverted, right, up, right. And now you see the Pyraminx is completely solved. So thank you guys for watching the first Nintendo Cubes, hopefully you enjoyed this, and I, if you did, I will do a few more. I might cover 3x3 three three beginner's method next, I might do Scoob, I might do like tips and tricks, who knows, who knows. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon for probably a stream on this, this weekend.